What's up, team? Pretty stressful day of trading. Pretty uh, hectic day, at least for me personally. But got ourselves in a trade at the moment. So, yes, this is not a trade alert, guys. I was on the road, not really able to monitor my positions like I typically do. So, didn't send out a trade alert for this, just because, God forbid, guys, you know, this thing tanks, I exit, and then, you know, I don't send my, uh, my alert, you know, for another hour or something. But, regardless, guys, playing Tesla today here, guys, had a very nice start to the morning on some good volume, and then had a few pullback opportunities here, so I took my entry right about there. Now, unlike, you know, a lot of the trades I've taken recently, this one's kind of been a boring one and really hasn't gone anywhere um you know since since i've since i've taken the trade but this is a good lesson guys because you know let's take a look here you know i, I took my entry here was i ever really in any danger now you know technically you know based upon you know is this still a valid move from this morning no i wasn't in danger you know it came down here kind of to you know the 60 percent retracement part of you know today's true range and uh i'm sorry today's move and uh you know was not really technically in any danger guys you know this trade was never you know not valid at any point however i have some good size in this trade right now um i bought about six thousand dollars worth of these calls and again entry there guys and on this dip right here guys was down over a thousand dollars so this is kind of what i mean guys about you know moving towards that next level is that you need to have a really good control of your emotions because you know once you start seeing you know minus one thousand dollars that can kind of freak a lot of people out, even if it's not a huge chunk of their portfolio. You know, even if the move is still valid, you know, they're going to see that number and they're going to panic. But nonetheless, guys, held the trade. It kind of stopped exactly where I thought it would. You know, here's today's open. You had the high, and that was kind of, you know, the 60% retracement from the high there. And the volume has been a bit mixed, you know, obviously not too strong here heading into the close and you know on a six thousand dollar position guys i'm up you know squat you know, i'm up 200 bucks so literally up nothing but you know uh i'm gonna hold for now guys we have let me see it is 218 you know another two hours in a day and though this trade isn't kind of rocketing you know towards my target which is you know this kind of this range up here i'm kind of looking for that 356 uh you know 357 kind of range you know that's where i'll take my profit guys if we do up, get up here, we're probably looking at a uh, maybe a $600 to $800 profit, which would be sweet. You know, kind of help offset some of this morning's loss in AMD. But not an exciting trade, not really taking off, doing too much, but not in danger. And of course, real quick, let's do our big picture confirmation. And the queues are still up, guys, doing fine. And everything's looking all right. So going to hold Tesla for now, guys. Hopefully we can get one final push here up into kind of, you know, that average move. And I'll take that off, and we'll be more than happy to call that a day. So, update you guys as this trade goes on. All right, guys, probably 30 minutes later or so, quick update for you all. Tesla's barely budging. We are in power hour right now, guys, and we're going to see if we can get, you know, that final push towards, you know, my, my profit target. Because, you know, it doesn't really kind of make sense to book the profits right now. But, you know, with such a large position, guys, if we can reach, you know, Anywhere in this level, you know, 90 to 100 percent, you know, of its average true range, then I'm going to take that off for a profit. So last hour, guys, any of you listening to this, you know, wouldn't mind if you dumped your entire account into Tesla, kind of kickstart some buy in here. So we'll see how she goes, guys, last hour and be back soon. All right, guys, a few minutes later now, and looks like Tesla's starting to make a push here. Now, if it breaks out of this blue line. That's kind of the high of the day, and, you know, that'll kind of be my, um, you know, let's get our ass ready kind of alert here, because, again, my profit target is somewhere up in here. So, in one of my accounts that I trade, um, I have my order set right now to get me out at 14, guys, which would be about a uh, $900 profit or so. And there's our chat, all you handsome and pretty motherfuckers in there. And now we've broken out of this range, guys. Um, alert didn't go off for some reason, but now we sit tight and we're going to see, you know, if we can continue this move and reach that level. All right, guys, so kind of creeping here. Uh, the open profit is $700 right now, but that's not the focus. The focus is how to game plan here and just simply, you know, I practice discipline all day and I'm going to stick to that game plan here. So going to look to close this, you know, 
one more final push and you know patience guys patience 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 do a quick look here at the big picture and it looks like you know Q's steady climbing guys looks like the spy is uh, yeah, doing all right the spy is fine so hang in tight guys a few more pushes and you know we'll, we'll be at our target for the day a little bit of a push here guys and uh let's see so they're going for 1360 or so right now i've got my order at 14 so um might end up bumping that order down just a bit but again you know we got 40 minutes left in the session and we're getting pretty close guys to my target now so um i think 14 might be a little too high for an exit price here on these so let me go take a look you know, up about 800 now and you know we're at 1370 so you know patience guys I, I could easily book this right now but it'd be more important for me to show you guys you know patience being practiced versus to just you know close close this trade right now so um you know last 40 minutes here i think 14 may be kind of asking for a bit much so we're going to cancel that order guys and let's go in here let's just call this we hit 1390 or yeah, we'll call it 1385. I'm not trying to be a pig right now. Uh, let me see. Uh, 1370. So let's go. Yeah. We're going to go 14 even again, guys, on the climb here. And now we just watch the chart. And one little, little fart to the upside here. And you know, getting pretty close. Options creeping up. You know, we need one more push, guys, and we're going to get. Um, you know that 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 price we're looking for. So, so let's take a look. All right, so those options are going for fourteen now, guys. So one more push, and we should be the fuck out of here, and can call it a day. And that'll be it, guys. So old and steady, a little dip here, but. You know, we need that final push, guys. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to hold on for it, and we'll see what happens here. Take a look at the big picture one more time. Make sure we're looking smooth sailing. Q's looking all right, guys. Spy continuing to look decent, so we're hanging tight. Up about 900, 915, 930. So hang in tight, guys. Up 915 now. Nine forty. So you know these are going for fourteen bucks. So we're probably gonna get taken out of this trade. There it is, guys. So nine hundred and ninety dollars of closed profits that was a fucking mentally exhausting trade for a lot of reasons guys it down a thousand points at the low there and was just able to close for a thousand dollars we're going to call it a thousand so awesome guys stuck to my game plan um watch tonight's video but um you know watch tonight's video guys i'm going to dive a little bit deeper into this trade um again it's the same the same thing as all my trades recently that pulled me in but um, you know, proud of myself on this one, guys. As I begin to play with more, pos you know, bigger position sizes, I have the understanding that you know these dollar figures are going to be bigger and bigger. So that was exhausting, guys. That one took a while. All done, 990 on the day, and that's that. So watch tonight's video, guys, and I hope you know, kind of seeing me work through the live process here was helpful for some of you.